back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Darlene. Today I'm going to be reviewing this Tower Symmetric Heater. Let's go ahead and get right into this. If you guys are interested in purchasing this, I will be linking it down in the description box below. But let's go ahead and open this up and see what's inside. So this is how it comes packaged. Go ahead and take this first layer off. It does have this little handle right here so that you can easily pick this up out of there. Just like that. So as you can see, it does come with a remote control and instruction manual and it's just taped onto it. Okay, so this is what the product looks like. And as you can see, I do have it plugged in right now. So I'm gonna get the remote. You will need two double or triple A batteries. So let me go ahead and go find two triple A batteries real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got two triple A batteries, so I'm gonna turn it on. And as you can see, it has the temperatures right here. It is up to 90 degrees Fahrenheit. You also have buttons up here if you lose the remote. So it's gonna do a countdown to shut it off. You just press that. As you can see, but if you press it, it'll turn right back on. And this is actually rotate. It has like a U thing right here. This is how you rotate it. But it also has the same buttons. Everything that's on here is on top as well. This is actually really hot. Oh my goodness. It's not exactly cold just yet. Um, so to have a heater on, it's like a little hot. But I do like the fact that it does rotate. Let me see if it has like a flipping thing. No, so this is something that you wanna have, like if you don't have kids or something, um, just because like if it flips over or something, it seems really sturdy. Um, the one that I have inside um, that I'm gonna put it in my garage actually has a flipping mechanism. If it flips over, it automatically shuts off. So I like using that, like if you do have kids or animals so that if they knock it over your house is not going to catch on fire um you do want to make sure that you don't put anything too close um around the edges or on the back you want to kind of keep it in an open spot and not on carpet or anything i like to put it on counters um like on top of a countertop or um on cement floor just because i don't want nothing um to catch fire because it does get really hot but as you can see they have no sound. So as you can see, you can turn it to where you can't hear the sound when you're changing it, or you can turn the sound on so that you can hear it going up. You can turn up and it goes up to, I can't see. Just hold it down. So it goes up to 90 degrees, which is pretty good. That's what I usually keep my heater in the winter time anyway. I really don't go above that. Um, and it has different, that's eco-friendly. That's max, that's fan, so it's just blowing. That one is high. Then it has a lower heat, eco-friendly, max, or just fan. And then it goes back to the first one. Um, and then you can also put it on a timer. So you can put it up to one, two, just depending on how high you want it. Let me see what the lowest it goes to. So up to nine, 90 minutes and you can choose what setting you want it to be at. So just like that. So it's super easy to use. It gets really, really hot. Um, it looks more modern. It's not something like a lot of the older ones are kind of ugly looking. This one is actually really nice looking. 
Um, and it's small, so if you have like an RV or something and you wanna keep it warm, something like this would work perfect for that just because the way it is and it is going to rotate if you have it in your room and it gets really cold it's going to hit you and your spouse so super cool um really good quality i really have no complaints about it but yeah that completes this video thank you so much for watching bye god bless